Friends, with the help of this video, we will understand what is staircase timer switch. We are going to learn about the working and wiring. Also, we will discuss about the uses of this staircase timer switch. Friends, the staircase timer switch which I have now can be easily understandable and the working and wiring is also simple to understand. We can use this switch timer in many places such as corridor, washroom, hall, etc. In this staircase, the light which we use is switched on or off for a small interval of time. If we use timer switch in this place and the light is switched on by pressing the button, then you can see the light is automatically turned off. The wiring of this timer is completely different of other timers. Before moving on to the wiring part, we will first understand the basic of this timer switch. Friends, this timer switch is manufactured by CNC company. Also, you can see the model number here. You can see the two indications provided in this timer. When we connect phase supply and neutral supply on these two terminals, at that time, this indication will start glowing. And this red indication will glow when the light is switched on. If light is turned on with this timer, then this indication will blink continuously. If you push this switch upwards, the light will be in on condition throughout. If you push this switch to auto mode, this timer will start working and if you push this switch downwards, the light will be turned off. We will understand the working of this timer after wiring. You can see a knob is given here, which is used to alter the time to keep the light on. We can set the time for 30 seconds to 20 minutes. Now we will learn how the wiring is done in this timer switch. We need to provide phase supply and neutral power supply to this timer switch. To provide phase supply and neutral supply, I am using two pole MCB. I already connected phase supply and neutral supply at incoming terminal. Now what we have to do is the point at which the phase supply is to be connected. I will connect the wire with the L terminal of timer switch. This means we provided phase supply to this timer switch. I will connect one more wire at the neutral point of MCB. The other end of this wire is to be connected with neutral point of the timer switch in this way. To operate this timer switch, a push button needs to be connected. I am using three push buttons for now, but you can use one push button or two push button, four, five, six, as many ways as you want to operate this timer switch. Now we will learn about the connection of this push buttons. I am taking three push buttons right now. You have to connect NO element, which means this is NO push button. For the connection of all these NO push button, loop all the upper terminals and similarly loop all the terminals at other side. This means parallel connection is required to connect these push buttons. After connecting all these in parallel, I will connect two wires in first push button and these two wires is to be connected with timer. Before performing this connection, let us understand one more thing. If you are using this timer switch in your company, you can use push buttons. But if you want to use this timer switch in home, then use this bell type of switch. We use bell switch in home because after pressing this switch, it goes back to its original position, which means it gets reset by itself. But if we use normal switch, it needs to be reset manually by again pressing the switch. That's why we use bell switch and it is to be used with this timer. Friends, whether you are using a switch or a push button, the wiring is always same. What you have to do is connect one wire from an upper terminal in a switch to the other terminal in other switch. Similarly, the second terminal of a switch is to be connected with second terminal of other switch. This means all the switch are connected in parallel. After this, we take two wire from a switch and connect with the timer switch. How this is done? Let's understand. The two wires which we get after connection, we will connect one of the wire with the neutral point in the timer switch. After this, the other wire will be connected at the three number terminal of timer switch. The only connection left now is the connection of lamp with timer switch. You will get two wire connected with lamp for phase supply and neutral supply. The phase wire of the lamp is to be connected with four number terminal of this timer switch. After that, the neutral wire from the lamp is connected with neutral power supply only that means the point where 
we get neutral supply from MCB at that same point we will do the connect friends you can directly connect the 16 ampere load with this timer switch if the load is comparatively high then you can use contactor in the same connection now our connection is completed let's switch on the MCB for now after switching on the MCB you will observe this indication glowing this means power is supplied to timer if I turn off the MCB you can see the indication is off now and turning on this MCB the indication glows if I push this switch on the lamp is turned on this lamp is permanently on that means the bypass of timer is successful similarly if you push off the switch and you even press push button the lamp won't be turned on so with this timer the load is permanently off now if you want the load to be automatically turned off after some time then push the toggle switch in auto position after which if you want to switch on the light press push button once the push button is pressed the load will be in on condition the time for which the load is on depends upon how much time you set in this timer i set the timer for 30 seconds now this means after 30 seconds this lamp will turn off automatically in this way at any time you press the push button the load will turn on if i turn off this switch and press this switch in auto mode then on pressing push button the load is on now if i again repeat this same procedure and on pressing the push button the load will again turn on what i want to convey is on pressing any of the push button the load will turn on automatically and after taking a time the load will turn off automatically friends i hope you like this video please do like share comment on this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel